Things you didn't know you could make with Canva, part 18. You can level up your visuals with this fun split screen effect. Open a new design and drag a guideline to the middle of the page. If you don't know how to turn those on, go over to File, Settings, and select Show Rulers and Guides. Grab a photo from the Elements tab and place it on your design. Bring it down to the very bottom, and then drag the handle of the photo up so that it goes above that guideline. Add some text to your page. I recommend a script font where all of the letters connect to each other. You can rotate it if you like, and then drag the handles of the font so that the left side and the right side of your text touch the edges of your design. Bring that text box down to the middle of the page. Change the color of your text to white. Click on the background and change that color as well. Click on the Add New Color option, select the eyedropper, and just pick one of the colors that are in your photo. At this point, you want to make sure that your photo falls below the baseline of the word. So if needed, go ahead and drag that handle up a little bit more so that it falls just below the baseline of each of those letters. Next, we're going to convert this to an image. Go over to Apps and select Design to Image. Convert to Image and select PNG and click Export. When it's finished, add it to a new page and then resize it. Next, you'll click Background Remover. Go to Edit. Click on Background Remover and we're going to restore portions of the image. You'll probably have to adjust your brush size and then you're going to paint back in the portions that are below the baseline of the text. And you'll continue to do this until the entire bottom is filled back in. Take the top handle of the image and drag it down a little bit so you can see part of the background. Click on the background, then go over to Elements and select Grid. Send this to the back layer. Go back to Elements and find a video that complements your design and drag it into the grid space. Then click on the grid and drag the bottom handle up so that it falls just below the baseline of your text. If you want to make that text pop just a little bit, go to your first page and copy that text box and paste it into your design. And then go to Effects and give it a drop shadow. Make the shadow black. and then change the blur just a little bit. Here is the finished design. Hit that follow button for more Canva tips like this.